The spider's female spider is always two or three times bigger than the male spider. If the male came and mate with the female spider, at the end of the mating, she eats him. You know that? 95% or maybe 98% of the chances are if he mates with her, she end up eating him. And he knows she will eat him, but he sacrifices his life for that. So scientists are bewilderment about that. Now they come to understand that if she eats the male spider, there are certain nutrients that he is the one that has it. That will make her egg to be good size and produce beautiful, healthy spiderlings. That's number one, horror in the house of spider. Number two, after two weeks, if the spider, the spider female, brings forth the egg, now they are, they've hatched, they're hungry, and now she's weak. She can't go hunting. Or she's thinking, if I go hunting, by the time I come back, some animal will eat my spiderling. So she stay. In doing so, she's hungry. So she eats some of the spiderlings. They're trying to run away, and she uses her claws to catch them and eat them. That's horror. Auhan. And number three, if the food is not forthcoming, the grown spiderling, the strong survive, and the weak fall apart. So the young spiderling begin to eat one another. If you are not strong, your brethren and sisterling will eat you. Another horror. It's like a movie house. They eat themselves. Horror. The final blow. If food is scarce, the spiderlings have grown. The female spider, she unleashes an instinct killer instinct, she releases a thermal. Some gas will come out of her hind back. That's the thermal. Once she releases that, the spider lane, they will read that to mean, come and eat me. So they will rush on their mother and they eat her. They call that in science, methygeny. Methygeny is the process whereby the spider lane eats their mom to survive. So when Allah said, Those whom you think will protect you, can't you see that their house is a horror house? They're going to eat you. Allah said, Oh, wa inna awhan al-buyut, la baytul ankabu.